Three, two, one, zero. With the launch of Chandrayaan-3, India also launches its bid to go where no one has gone before, to the South Pole of the Moon. We have a majestic liftoff. It's a moment of glory for India and I think a moment of destiny for all of us. India's yeah. last attempt, Chandrayaan-2, ended in a crash. This relaunch with design and software fixes is part of India's bid to become a global leader in commercial space launches. Whether it is satellite launches, whether it is other launches, and this would further enhance India's credibility and India's ability to undertake those launches, which other countries who are not capable of doing. Chandrayaan-3 cost $75 million U.S., relatively cheap for space travel, giving India a big advantage. They have figured out uh, ways to kind of keep costs minimal uh, and to really rely on their own uh, local um, resources, whether that's in people or in products and materials and, and using that in their innovations. The three major objectives for this mission, to demonstrate a safe, soft landing on the moon's surface and to conduct rover operations and experiments. If all goes as planned, Chandrayaan-3 will make history on August 23rd, landing as the sun rises over the south pole of the moon. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, St. John's.